Hi, I'm Heather, and I want to tell you a story that I thought would be the end of my life. Luckily for me, it turned out to be the best part of my life. I got pregnant when I was just 15. That was my junior year, where everyone was getting cars and permits, finding outfits for junior prom, and celebrating their sweet 16s. This was the same time that I met my first boyfriend. We got into a jaw-dropping, thrilling, and naive first love. We didn't pay much attention to birth control or protection. Neither of us knew much when it came to the importance of them. After weeks of having no period, I had assumed nothing was wrong because my period was always coming and going whenever it wanted. It never had a set cycle. But one morning, I woke up to my reflection and I saw that my breasts were huge. They were amazing, like a wish come true. And boom, a dooming thought crossed my mind. I might be pregnant. My friend drove me to the nearest grocery store to pick up what turned out to be 10 pregnancy tests. I wanted to ensure that these results were right. I may have gone a little overboard though. I had to wait nervously for the results to arrive. And test after test, a tiny plus sign manifested. I thought at least one of these tests would show a promise of me not being prego. Then my whole life started slipping away from me. I'm not an actor, but I put on the best fake smile I could and tried to carry on with my normal life. But time ran out on being able to hide it from my parents. My breasts got larger and my stomach began to bulge. I was scared on how my mom and dad were going to react and hoped it wouldn't manipulate my decision on giving birth. Now looking back, I really wish I hadn't had so many doubts. Meanwhile, the gossip spread like a disease. I was getting obsessive calls and radical religious parents fearing I would influence their kids. I was angry, not because of their opinions, but because it's my body and I should be able to make a decision on what I want to do with it. I knew I had to tell my parents before they found out from someone else. Finally, we had the conversation. Of course, they were stressed and confused, but they promised to support me. Next, my boyfriend told his family and his mom promptly called mine. They both agreed to be as supportive as humanly possible. I would have never made it without all the love and support. But even so, life being pregnant in school was far from easy or fun. My sweet 16 wasn't so sweet, and my beliefs on college died. I was embarrassed and I was depressed. Time had passed and my senior year had came and started without me. I was forced to finish school from home. My friends tried to visit, but it just made me upset to hear about their normal teen lives without me. After nine months, me and my boyfriend started fighting, and it seemed like we didn't agree on anything anymore. By the time the baby was ready to be born, I was a mess. My son arrived at nine pounds after 24 hours of labor. I don't quite know how I survived it all, but when I looked to see my family, my boyfriend, and all his family by my side, it made all the struggles bearable. I can't picture what it's like for other teen mothers forced into becoming a young parent who are left to face it alone. A lot of time has passed since, and my boyfriend became an awesome father. We grew apart and aren't in a relationship anymore, but he goes out of his way to make his time with his son notably special. He is someone that can be counted on. People frequently mistake that I must be pro-life because of me being a teen mom. I'm definitely not. This was my choice, and I'm so thankful that I made it. I hope that all young parents have an uplifting story like mine.